games. I'm logged on to an MMORPG with people from all over the world and getting XP with my party using TeamSpeak. Tech. Stuff. Riot Control. For Riot Control, if you haven't been paying attention, we've been playing Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and that is out for the Nintendo Switch today. Don't you love Mario characters and little rabbits? I do. Which are basically <laughs> little rabbit guys. So if you've never seen it before, uh, this is from Ubisoft. They sent us a code to check it out. And again, it's exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. And the idea is that there's this video game slash creator slash inventor that has this VR headset that something something happens and Mario and the Rabbids end up in a cross dimensional vortex and they end up fighting for survival to return sanity to the Mushroom Kingdom. Now if as Nikki was saying you don't know what the Rabbids are imagine Rabbits that remind you an awful lot of Minions. minions. I think that's a safe way to explain it. And they are very funny. There's when, a lot of them they walk around you do things. Well they announced this game at E3 like Leading up to it, there were rumors that it existed, and I thought it sounded like a really dumb idea. But don't you think most people were excited because the fact that it's a partnership with Nintendo, so you're seeing characters like Mario in this stuff? It just didn't seem to me like it was going to work, and then I saw the first trailer for it, and I was like, I'm an idiot, this is fantastic, I hope it's as good as it looks. And I'm here to tell you that it is. Uh, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle is a, well, it's a strategy game, um, and that's something that might take you... For, like shock you right away is like that's all it is is strategy so you get in and it plays like XCOM and if you've never played XCOM before you've got characters and what you end up doing is just kind of moving them around the board yeah. setting them up in places so that they can attack each other and think of it like chess because it is turn based but it's a little oh, I suppose the chess grandmaster will hate me for this but as <laughs> As an idiot, it feels a little more complicated. Sure. Um, and so you move your guys into places where they can attack. Um, there's a lot of jumping. So, like, you can move Mario into one place, and then Rabid Luigi can jump on Mario's head that pushes him further across the board to attack the other Rabid that's doing whatever. Um, in Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, there's a ton of variety. Uh, not just in the people that you can use, but also in the kind of bosses that you're going to face. Uh, it's a lot about mobility. You can upgrade the the weapons that Mario is carrying. It might seem a little weird to see Mario carrying a hand cannon, but I don't know. It totally worked for me, right? <laughs> it worked out. Yeah. So with this being, you know, two two companies, you know, Nintendo and, and Ubi and stuff going in together, do you feel like Mario is the main thing and the Rabbids are like way behind in second? Or is it pretty much it's a storyline that keeps both of them at the same level? Does that make sense? Um, I, to me, I mean, Mario is definitely the star of the show okay. here. Okay. Um, because even the Rabbids that you're using, a lot of them look like Mario characters. And so if you had actually told me that this was just from... Nintendo, you would have believed, believed that. Um, so, and in reality, I think most people probably aren't even going to know because how often does Nintendo ever license out their characters? I, I mean, I'm sure they have. There's like that Mario Sonic thing, but I mean, this is not one of the often. few times I've seen it. And you know what? It's great integration. And I'll tell you, it's not. The game is not overly easy, but it's also not super hard. I feel like it's a very gentle slope of working your way into what does a strategy game like this look like? And it's a great fit for the Nintendo Switch. It looks amazing on the screen. Uh, you know, a battle plays out across a few different turns, so it really plays to the strengths of picking it up and taking it with you. But it also looks really good on your TV, and I have actually played it both ways, both in my hand and using a Nintendo Pro Controller. Again, and Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle for the Switch. I'll just tell you, I feel like it's a winner. There's a season pass for it. Don't know what's coming in the season pass yet, but the game itself felt like a complete package when I actually got my hands on it. So uh, remember, you can always catch more Riot Control, riot.radiou.com. And if you want to see us play Mario Rabbids, there's an Obadiah Plays right now at Radio U Riot on YouTube. It's also on our Facebook page. And you can also find that at riot.radiou.com. Anchor and Braille, Lower East Side. It is the Riot.